Hey my internet troopers, my name is Bio Game and welcome to another LEGO review. Here we have the 1989 Batmobile. Now I'm very excited to open this up because I have every other movie Batman Batmobile. It, well, uh, it, all except for Ben Affleck's Batmobile, but I have the Nightcrawler, which is kind of like a Batmobile, but still pretty awesome, you know? I mean, he's based off the Dark Knight Returns Batman and, you know, his Batmobile is a tank. So, still still counts so like i said 1989 batmobile now this looks amazing oh just just look at it so like i mean if you don't want to spend like 300 dollars on a whole bat cave just to get to this car you know just you know spend like 40 dollars for like for a separate set you know i mean you you want a michael keaton batman returns man here just just you know pay like five bucks for a poly bag it's not that hard really and this set's supposed to be a little different than the Batcave version. Well, I, I mean, they look kind of similar. I mean, there could be a few differences that I'm not seeing here. So here's a photo of Michael Keaton's Batman with a new cow piece that I'm excited to take a look at. So this phrase is eight and up. This is set number seven, six, two, two, four. Batmobile, Batman versus the Joker chase. Nice, 438 pieces. Let's go. Here we have an actual size of a minifigure here. On the back, we have another shot of the whole set here. And we have three little photos here that shows like how accurate this is to the movie. And I'm very, very excited to build this now. All right, let's get to it. Just gotta, yay, punch holes. I love punch holes. Make things a lot easier. Why is there tape? Why is there tape? There's tape. Oh my God, why, why would you put tape with the punch holes? That makes no sense. Why would Lego do that? That's so stupid. Good, I'm just gonna use the key. I'm too lazy to work for a knife. Okay, all right. No, just, uh, oh my God, there's enough piece of tape right there. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that worked a lot easier. Just rip that out. You know, got it? Yeah. Okay, so we have bag number four, a new instruction booklet, nice. Bag number two, bag number three, bag number one, and some stickers. All right, let's get the building. All right, the set's done, let's go over it. All right, first off, here is Michael Keaton's Batman. Now, first off, I would like to say I am really loving this new cow piece. So like, this is like the fourth ever uh, model that uh, Lego has ever made for Batman. So uh, it, it looks very um, animated series-like. So like, uh, it, it's, it's got like the, uh, you know, the, you know what I mean? It's got the cartoon vibe because the the eyes are huge and the and like the, the, the ears, they're more round instead of pointy uh, and, uh, well, just uh, well, surprisingly, there's no printed white band this time. It's it's actually in the cow. So yeah, that'll save them some ink. So lift the cape there. We'll see his backside. As you can see, he's got his little zipper. That's how he gets in the suit. He's got his printed 1989 logo, and of course, we got the 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 ah, oh, wow, I can't speak right. The utility belt. Okay. So let's compare this guy to a 1992 Batman for Batman Returns. So uh, as you can see, they look completely different. Well, I mean, actually. It, you know, he comes with like the, the molded cow piece that's into the, uh, you know, the cape because like that, that's supposed to be movie actor, you know, because like he can't turn his neck, but this one can. And uh, there's a reason why they did this and I'll get to that in a little bit. Of course, the logos are different. Uh, this one has armor plating this time and this one just has like a molded black rubber to protect himself from bullets. Uh, the utility belts are printed a little differently. Uh, so uh, the only, uh, another difference I spotted, so like uh, under, on the back sides, this one has the remote control battery imprinted on the back. And here is Jack Nicholson's Joker. Now I'm really, really liking this minifigure now. Um, so yes, they released uh, two Jack, Nich uh, blah, 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 Jack Nicholson minifigures before, and that was in the, uh, like the uh, 30th anniversary uh, Lego sets, like the Giant 89 Batmobile and the Batwing. And his face, well, as you can see, it's printed differently now. I mean, I mean, uh, the the ones from 2019, they were uh, they were a little more movie accurate, but this one, it's it's less movie accurate. But I mean, uh, well, he's he's got his like a uh, he's got the the looks, you know. I mean, he's got like the 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 green hair that that's I believe that's Peter Vickman style, but it, it's green. Uh, he's got the uh, the purple trench coat, the pants, uh, the pink gloves. I'm glad they added that. Um, the uh, Orange button-down shirt, the light blue vest, and the uh, the tie with the white uh, 
I'm sorry, yellow dots, and whatever that is that's coming out of his pocket. And, uh, well, he does not have a printed backside. I mean, all jokers do. I don't know why this one doesn't, but I'm not here to argue. I'm just here to review. And here is the Batmobile. I am so glad they finally made a 1989 Batmobile minifigure set. Now, I am really, really loving this. Like, I love how how accurate this looks to the movie, you know? Like, uh, well, uh, like I said, they, they already released, like, uh, uh, a, a whole back cave set with another Batmobile, but I've spotted like um, four differences to this. And this is actually way better than the one in the back cave set, and I'm, I'm gonna point all those out. But first, a little comparison with this little pullback Batmobile toy to show all the detail that it has. So as you can see here, it looks completely accurate to the movie. I mean, it's got like uh, whatever this little thing is right here. I mean, it's got that. It's got these, uh, whatever these gray dots here right there. I'm guessing they're bolts. Um, it's got the, um, well, I'm gonna guess that this is like a, a little exhaust funnel. I'm guessing that's what it is. As you can see, it's a grill piece, but in the Batcave version, it's it's like a, it's, it's a barrel piece. You know, that's that's one difference to it. Uh, the wheels have like a little bombs on there because like, a, like once it goes into um, uh, shield mode, I think that's what it's called. And it, it, it like, it drops those bombs like it did in the in Ace Chemicals. Of course, we got the iconic front side with the, uh, whatever this little thing is right here. So there's one play feature that this set has that the Batcave version doesn't. So turn it around here and this is a little compartment, you know, it, it's got a little trunk. That's nice. This is where you can store the gadgets like uh, like some batarangs, some black handcuffs and uh, this uh, not sure why they would make the grapnel launcher look like this. However, I made a better version that looks a little more movie accurate. I mean, not entirely, but it's close. So maybe I can fit that. No, I cannot. Nope. So whenever you move the car, the flame moves. Nice. Got two little exhausts, I mean, four exhaust mini funnels. Why is my hand glowing like an angel? We got the uh, red lights to show that uh, he's stopping or maybe indicate his turn. Not sure if the back cave version can do this. I mean, it obviously can. You could just take the top off, you know? And uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't slide, but still pretty cool. Now, this is the reason why Michael Keaton can turn his head because of, uh, you know, like the, the cape, it's it's all one big molded plastic piece, you know? You just, you can, you can fit them inside, you know? So there you go. So for some reason, the, uh, the steering wheel is a wheel. And well, I think it looks actually kind of amazing, you know? I mean, it just, just, uh, you know, I'm like I said, I'm not here to argue. I'm just here to review. So we got like little control panels on the sides there, and uh, well, this this is another difference that the back cave version has. Uh, this whole control panel in the very front, it's uh, a lot smaller than this version right here. Another difference I forgot to point out: uh, these little uh, I'm gonna say bat wings in the back here, they're they're a little more high up. I mean, sure, it's. It's a little more movie out here, but I think I like this version a lot better. And I say the best feature for last, you know, this is like 100% movie accurate and I really love this the most. So uh, you take this little gear here, you turn it and surprise, we got little guns. I think I can try to add like little blast effects. Let me see what I can do here. Yeah, there we go. That looks, <laughs> okay, that looks way better. All right, that is all I got for this video. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Have an awesome day and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Jackson, I trust you the most. You seem to you seem to be more experienced. Oh, what? what? Jackson, where'd you go? Jackson, I lost you. This way on hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee